Welcome back everyone, and this is episode 6, and let's jump right into this video. We're going to be working with data frames in this episode. Now, data frames are basically containers using the pandas library that make it easy for us to work with our detected text once we run OCR. For example, in the previous videos, we ran OCR on some files and had output. What if we could store that output somewhere that we could use to analyze, compare values, or generally make our lives easier when we're working with further algorithms or when we want to run analysis on the data? For this, we're going to be using data frames. Okay. Now you could use other formats. You could write the data to CSV or a text file or other operations, but for simplicity, we're going to be using data frames. So we'll be taking our text or output and storing them in a DF. And this is a very rudimentary pipeline. It's not intended to be any type of schematic or architecture here, but to kind of give us an overview of where we are. So we have our main OCR algorithm and we return our detected text. Now, what we want to do is to pre-process the data that was returned from the OCR and reverting back to our image and noise handling. You can actually think of that as a pre-processing phase before the OCR. But now we want to return our detected text, pre-process it from the OCR algorithm to be able to use efficiently. And let's say for an NLP algorithm. So we want to run sentiment analysis, classification, or something along those lines with the text detected. What we need to do is to take our detected text and convert it into a data frame. And for this, let's use pandas. All right, now we can launch spider and perform our pre-processing or text cleaning. And this can actually be very task specific. So depending on the data that you're working with, try to kind of keep that in mind what you're trying to achieve. But for our purposes, we only want to create a data frame right now. But think about the values or converting values to readable formats, float values, stuff along those lines, because when you're working with your data frame, you want to be able to have those usable values. Now, this is a very simple process, or at least if you're not familiar with pandas, it might not be that simple, but you'll get the hang of it very quickly. For those of you that are familiar with pandas, this is a very simple process. So my apologies in the next video, we'll get into some more complicated operations, but this is a very straightforward creation of a data frame. We're working with the original demo TXT, but I created a duplicate file. So I will include that as well, just a demo df.txt. And I created a file called create df.py. First thing you want to do is import pandas. If you don't have pandas installed, please launch the Anaconda navigator, go to the environments tab, search for pandas and install it. You can also use pip or conda to install it from the terminal or Anaconda prompt with the pip or kind of commands to install pandas. What we can do here is create a data frame that's DF. So it's going to be the name of our data frame. You can kind of name it what you want, but DF is very standard. We're going to use the PD dot read underscore CSV method. Even though we're working with a TXT file, we can use demo DF dot TXT. Give ourselves a comma. We want to add a little space here. Space that out with a comma. We need to give ourselves a header, but it's going to be none. Do I have a header at the moment? And this is optional as well. We are going to give ourselves some column names set to, let's say, something very simple. Let's open a dictionary and give it A, B, and C. Simple operation. And what we also want to do, I just want to check this really quickly stating I have invalid syntax. What we also want to do here is print our data frame. And I definitely need some coffee because that took way too long to catch on that I'm missing in equals after adding that for our syntax error. We need to also import pandas as PD. See, some things you work with all the time and still can make a quick error when importing a package. Well, let's print the data frame so we can visualize this. I'm going to run the selection of current line and there you have it. We have created a data frame, but we can also see that we're including uh, a lot of NANDs. So let's try a different method here. Let's create our data frame. Let's call it something else. Let's call it data set. Keep it a little organized. Same method, so PD dot read underscore CSV are we're taking the same file demo DF dot TXT. Give ourselves a comma. We're gonna use a delimiter. So delimiter 
and we're going to set it equal to the following backslash and close that. The delimiter is used because a lot of databases or spreadsheet programs uh, are able to read or save data in a delimited format. So a delimited text file is a text file used to store data in which each line represents a single book, company, or other thing, and each line has fields separated by the delimiter. So we're gonna add that delimiter in, and I want to print the data set, and we're gonna rerun this and do one more command. So let's print our data set, not data frame, because we're giving it a different name, and run our selection. And again, need coffee, we have an end of line here while scanning our code focused on the delimiter and actually forgot to include the character for the delimiter so we have that as well i'm going to wrap this up by running this let's run our selection and we can see the difference between printing our data set here adding each specific line whereas our data frame up top a little more unorganized we're going to get into in the next video running OCR and detecting a data frame and working with specific rows and columns. This is just kind of taking our data and adding it into a data frame. You can also write it to a file. You can use basic Python operations to read and write to a file. I mean, we have it in a text file and we can visualize it here, but we want to use the data frame because we can access specific columns and rows in a data frame when we're working with larger ML algorithms to make it easier. So we can take our data set here and we can use the following since it's a data frame we can call the header on it let's take 10 not 19 we want 10 let's just run this and we have the 10 lines printed out now if you had a data frame say created a thousand two thousand five thousand you would just be printing the first 10 this is a very small sample but it's just to demonstrate that once you create the data frame, you're able to access specific rows and columns. It makes it very easy. Okay, this was a very simple operation for creating our data frames. If you guys go through anything else, if you use NumPy, if you write to any specific files, try to think about keeping it very organized and structured. That's the point of it. If you want to discuss anything, you have any ideas or demonstrations that you want to talk about, please feel free to comment on the video. I'd be more than happy to discuss them. With that, Let's wrap things up. Again, in the next video, we're gonna focus on running our OCR on a file to detect and actually accessing a data frame, a more involved or a more demonstrative data frame that we can see the columns and rows that we're gonna then use to build an ML algorithm on from our OCR. All right, as always, please subscribe to the Super Data Science channel. It is a fantastic way to stay up to date within the industry. Always some incredible things going on. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Any feedback as well is always appreciated, and I will see you in the next video.